people for ethical treatment of animals peta india have urged amul to switch to production of plant based milk that is vegan milk the big question that arises over here is would peta ask big multinational companies across the globe to stop selling burgers stuffed with fried chicken mutton or beef or any other animal flesh and instead use stuff aloo tikki even as per the draft of the food safety and standards authority of india's guidelines plant milk and chemical milk are not milk at all in the first place amul india's largest dairy company has responded back to animal rights group peta's recommendation to switch to plant based dairy questioning how crores of people would be employed and also said that foreign funded ngos are running campaigns to tarnish the indian dairy industry Peta suggestion regarding vegan milk which is basically plant based juice that resembles the texture taste and qualities of conventional animal milk has invited a lot of criticism from the journal public as well few people took to twitter and expressed their concerns like one user said it's all about the personal choice of people about food whether they want vegan or their traditional milk products instead of affecting the eating patterns and assaulting the livelihoods of 50 crore people who rely on dairy products for protein peta should first go after beef consumers and stop them The major development comes after the self-regulating ad industry entity Advertising Standard Council of India dismissed a plea filed by Peta against Amul for stating that plant-based products can't be called milk. On this suggestion, Amul's managing director R S O D responded back at Peta India over the demand to switch to vegan milk from dairy products. He tweeted and raised the question over people's affordability and willingness to consume synthetic food made from chemicals in laboratories. He said, "How many can afford expensive lab manufactured factory food made out of chemicals and synthetic vitamins?" In his tweet, he also invoked the livelihoods of 10 crore farmers dependent on the dairy industry. Peta previously stated in a letter to Amul that the dairy might benefit from the growing demand for vegan products such as vegan cheese, yogurts and other dairy alternatives. It also noted how global companies are acquiring states in non-dairy milk manufacturing. Thus Amul should also consider venturing into the vegan products too. Earlier also Peta has conducted a number of controversial campaigns calling for festivals like Bakri Eid and Christmas to be transformed into the vegetarian celebrations and calling for a ban on jalikattu events in Tamil Nadu. That's all in today's segment. Thank you for watching.